If you're watching this video, then you're probably into 3D printing. And if you're into 3D printing, then probably you know Hatchbox is one of the largest 3D printing filament manufacturers out there. The quality of their filaments is very nice. So let's see how this wood filament stacks up. Now, this is real wood. It's not any imitation. It's actual very fine wood dust that is mixed with PLA filament. So printability should be quite easy. The filament is always tightly vacuum sealed, which is nice if you're not planning on using it right away. Unfortunately, Hatchbox spools are black and have no opening to see how low on filament you are. But at least they have four places to hold the end of the filament. For some reason, the winding on my spool looked weird, but it didn't mess up any of my prints. The filament itself is rough and has a matte finish, yet it is not abrasive, so there's no need for any special nozzles. Yet, due to the fine wood dust, it is not recommended to use it on nozzles smaller than 0.4 millimeters, or the wood dust might clog the nozzle. The wood dust also makes this filament more brittle, so make sure it doesn't go through some crazy bends before getting to the extruder. Also, as expected from Hatchbox, the diameter is very consistent. For testing, I first printed a calibration cube, a Marvin, and a 3 Benchy at a 0.2 mm layer height. I found that this filament prints better at lower temps at around 190 degrees Celsius, uses a tiny bit more retraction than normal PLA, and sticks to the build surface just fine. And here are the results. Corners and letters in the calibration cube look sharp. The surface finish is very rough though, which in this case is cool because that is the nature of wood. Same with the Marvin. The print quality seems consistent, and I like the fact that it has a matte finish, just like wood. The Benchy looks mostly okay, but there was some stringing present. Again, this filament prefers lower temps, or if not, there will be a lot of stringing. So, knowing that the sole purpose of this filament is to look like wood, I went ahead and printed stuff that would be usually made out of wood, or that would look cool with its color and texture. First, I printed this Moai at a 0.1mm layer height, with the intention of making it very smooth, and it looks awesome. Then I printed this Mayan mask, which is particularly cool because it is a scan of a real Mayan mask. I also printed this vase, just to see how this filament could print, and well, it still looks kinda woody. But of course, the star of the show needs to be the baby Groot. This tiny creature looks so adorable, and printing the model out of wood simply seems right. The surface finish on this one didn't look that good, but again, it's not like Groot has very smooth wood skin, right? Another cool thing of this filament is that because it contains a high percentage of wood, it can actually be sanded and stained with ease. So I used some sanding and polishing tools of the Dremel to get a smoother surface in the Moai. Then I proceeded to stain it with some dark walnut wood stain. I used a lot of it because I prefer that old rustic look. And it turned out looking so damn cool. The Mayan mask is supposed to be old and deteriorated, so I stained it first which made it look awesome. But to make the details pop, I then slightly sanded it which gave it an aged look. Just look at a side by side of what you can accomplish with only some wood stain. The looks are very different, but both look great. So in conclusion, Hatchbox wood filaments contain real wood, which makes the prints look and feel like wood. It prints at a slightly lower temperature than PLA and it is quite stringy. Also expect a rough surface finish as it is trying to mimic wood. Yet, it is up to you to sand it or stain it for a different look. This filament has no special mechanical properties. It's all about how it looks. Therefore, using it for decor and props where you want that wood look is awesome. Oh, and Hatchbox actually makes like three different colors of this wood filament to better suit your needs. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon to receive notifications on new uploads. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.